Hello everyone, here's another application of the C-Medium. Uh, this problem is from the USA uh, Team Selection Test 2008. Here's a view of this problem and a simple sketch underneath it. Uh, ABC, a triangle with centroid G. Let's change the highlighter color. P is, the, is a variable point on BC, so that's the location of P. And P um, is actually moving between B and C. And accordingly, the points Q and R are chosen on AC and AB such that PQ is parallel. Huh? PQ, this line, is parallel to AB. And PR is parallel to AC. PR is parallel to AC, as you can see in the picture as well. We would like to prove that as P moves between B and C, segments B and C, the circumcircle of triangle AQR, hmm, hard to visualize it, so the circumcircle of AQR passes through a fixed point X, and now be careful, which has this property here. So this property actually uh, gives you the, a hint about where the location of X is. So BAG, recall G is the centroid, is equal to CAX. Wow, so you know that X must be somewhere on the C median, and I did go ahead and draw the C median. So therefore, uh, so X is somewhere on the C median. So what I did is I went ahead and created a um, GeoGebra uh, construction. Uh, let me show you uh, my construction here. Um, so what I will do in order to visualize it, so right now I did go ahead and draw the uh, circumcircle of ARQ, you can see it here. Let me actually change the color. Um, yeah, let's make the red color. Okay, good. Um, so let's see what happens as P moves between B and C, and if we can identify that point on that C median line. Obviously, it's somewhere here, right? Well, it's exactly here. So actually, let's go ahead and um, uh, mark it. So that's the point F, uh, well, no F, uh, we, we should rather call it, I think the question is calling it as X. So let's change its name to X. There you go. So let's see as P moves if my red circle is always going through X. Which is the case, unbelievable. And so it is a beautiful construction. So we need to prove that... Um, that point X exists, and we need to find its properties and uh, also prove that it is on the C median line. And so that's that's a wonderful construction. So hope if you feel like convinced. Now let me just take this snapshot here and going back to my presentation. That's a snapshot. So I did not draw the uh, circumcircle of ARQ, but you have an idea. The the point X is somewhere here. Uh, this yellow dot as let me show you one more time. Yeah, it is somewhere here. Okay, so going back to our uh, solution In fact, I will relate this problem to our previous solution uh, Related to the center of spiral similarity that takes B to A and A to C so consider the spiral similarity T uh, is the spiral similarity which takes a, uh, sorry, which takes B to A, B to A, and then uh, A to C. And I already know the center of that spiral similarity is on the C median line. It is not the C median point. Be careful. It is definitely not the C median point. It is a point on the C median, uh, the, the center of that spiral similarity. So therefore, um, let me... Um, let me uh, Go ahead and um, mark that point as x, so or x prime if you will, and ultimately we will show that x prime and x has are the same points and that's uh, so x. Let's show that. So my claim is that x is the center. Let x be so that's our transformation here. Let x be the center of spiral similarity t. Hmm. Okay, and moreover. So we know that triangles uh, BRP, BRP, and um, PQC are similar, obviously. So triangle BRP is similar to triangle PQC, obviously, right? Because 
those side lengths are parallel huh? so this line is parallel to this line and then this line is parallel to this line it is obvious that those two triangles are similar as a result I can make the following so AR over um, RB is simply equal to AR over RB that ratio here is simply equal to QP um, over RB huh? so AR is the same as QP because I have this nice parallelogram here QP over RB but then um, um, Q, uh, well QP over RB using this similarity is the same as QC over RP QC over RP and finally QC over RP is the same as QC over AQ QC over AQ and therefore this tells us that AR over RB being equal to um, if you will CQ over QA that's a better uh, approach actually CQ over QA therefore the, the spiral similarity T will take point R and map it onto Q now recall that um, the spiral similarity will take the midpoint to a midpoint and it will take a point with a certain ratio on the line segment to a, to another point with the uh, with, with the same ratio so that's just beautiful so therefore this implies that uh, if r is mapped onto q then it means that triangle arx arx so that triangle here let me go ahead and draw that triangle so that triangle here that green triangle is in fact um, similar to triangle um, CQX so similar to triangle CQX and be aware that the Yufei Zhao notes has a typo here uh, so this is the correct um, similarity um, so ARX is similar to let me draw another color here uh, CQX so C Q and X is done up here so CQX so that oops that doesn't look very straight line isn't it okay so there we go um, it, well in my picture it looks like it goes through the centroid but it doesn't have to okay so sorry for that but those two triangles are definitely uh, similar triangles but then this further implies similarity implies that angle ARX is in fact equal to angle CQX but if that's the case huh, then please convince yourself that uh, quadrilateral ARXQ is in fact uh, a cyclic quadrilateral and that's the case because angle CQX, huh, so we, uh, that's the case. I did go ahead and draw the circle. It's because CQX is simply equal to 180 degrees minus uh, angle XQA. Huh? Minus angle XQA. So therefore, those two angles, ARX, so basically this angle here, this opening, and uh, AQX. Or XQA huh? so let me show it with a different color this angle here they are opposite and they are the, on, on that quadrilateral and they are supplementary angles so it's better be the case that ARXQ is cyclic so now we are uh, we are kind of done because well X is on the semidium so therefore it already we know that it satisfies this property here and it, it is also on the circumcircle of the uh, triangle ARQ so as a result huh, so it satisfies the two properties so therefore we are done A is on the circumcircle of ARQ and it is also on the C median line it satisfies the properties claimed for that point X uh, and this result is independent of the location huh? so where you put P between B C this is is satisfied x is always on that medium and it's it's always uh, on that uh, circumcircle as well and we are done